I want to talk about the average musician, not just the ones that are interested in recording, but those ones who their intention are to create music for themselves. I understand that fame and glory is something that we all pursue. I've searched through countless YouTube videos and content creators searching for this tone or sound that makes you feel that you're accomplishing something. And most of the times they always are telling you what to get, what you should be considering to acquire as a piece of gear that is going to help you to develop that feel, that sound that is going to make you feel professional. But today's video purpose is completely different. It's for all of those who are, you know, that poor musician. A musician who has a struggle, that has not enough income, or that <laughs> down to earth is being realistic, is the one that doesn't even know if he's going to be capable to be a musician. So today I'm going to try to demonstrate three different scenarios in the gear that would allow you to accomplish this objective of making music on a tight budget or a little bit more unconventional. So the very first scenario that I want to throw out is the poor man's studio, which is going to be on a budget about $384, which is going to include a guitar, a bass, a mixer, and a microphone and a stand for you to be able to do all these recordings. Now for the guitar, this is a little bit touchy subject because you're going to go to your music store and you're going to select a guitar that preferably it has been used. There's absolutely no issue with the guitar at all, and as long as it is in good condition. The guitar that I recorded for so many years, it was a used Ibanez that I got for 50 bucks about seven years ago. And I gotta say, it's been an amazing guitar. For the bass, it's gonna be about the same concept. And by this, you should expect to spend about 160 to $200 on this. The microphone that I heavily suggest is the Shure SM57, which with the stand and a cable, you can get it for about $109.99. This is an amazing microphone, and the whole reason why I recommend it is because it can allow you flexibility to record voice and also to record an amplifier. I know that a lot of people don't consider this as an amazing voice microphone, and they prefer the SM58, but for the flexibility, I have to give it to this one. As for the mixer, I heavily suggest the Behringer Xenix Q502 USB mixer, which it allows you to have a preamp for the microphone for those situations where the microphone is too quiet to record. As a one last item that I recommend for this poor man's build is the Rocksmith USB cable that they use for the video game. It is amazing to capture all the signal coming directly from the guitar or the bass, and I'll show you with some samples what is what I mean. Now, this budget only works assuming that you already own a computer that you can do recordings on. For this, one of the most important factors is what kind of DAW program you're going to be using to record. And for this, I heavily recommend, and no, it's not Audacity. It is Cakewalk by BandLab. It is free to use and you can do a lot of things with it for free. The only last thing that you have to download is ASIO for All, which is going to allow you to do all the connectivity from your mixer and devices to the computer. Now, Kickwalk is very easy to use and very intuitive. One of the things that you have to do is just to start a new project and just go with it. Create a track and start laying out your stuff. The only thing that you want to make sure whenever you're connecting a device to the computer is that go to the device settings and make sure that ASIO for All is running your device because if not, it's not going to be able to track it and you're going to have a hard time. Now you just have to lay two guitar tracks, two bass tracks, your vocals, and the drums. For the drums, I like to use a plugin named Empty Power, which has really nice sounding drums for the price. Wait for it. It is free. Now, I don't personally enjoy using drum plugins because they tend to be a little bit clunky and they don't always work properly. But once we lay the drum tracks, we can just lay some VSTs for the guitars and bass so that we make them sound more proper. And even though that we capture the sound raw, which is just like this, Combined with the emissary plugin and NAT IR, which allows you to simulate a cabinet by impulse, it would end up sounding just like this. <laughs>
it may not be quality studio, but for $400, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now, for the next two scenarios, I consider one about $700 or the other one that will be close to $1,300. One, I would call it the scenario for you work steady and you finally earn it. Or the other one, your grandma passed away and gave you money for that. Some of the same things apply on these scenarios as they apply on the very first one. But the gear is going to be a little bit more above of it and more closer to plug in and play. The guitars and bass are always going to be the same scenario. You can buy them, you can either own them already, or you can just buy something that it was already previously used. But considering that I'm actually taking in factor a used guitar on this, it could actually bring the price lower. All you have to do for vocals is buy the same microphone and stand that I mentioned for $110 the same bearing your mixer that I mentioned before. And here is the part that is going to be different between these two scenarios that is going to make it either plug in and play or a little bit more complex. The amplifier is going to be an amplifier that you're going to be able to record good with the microphone. That's the whole reason why I recommend it. Or you're going to be able to record it directly to the computer, which is the whole reason why I recommend a Line 6 Spider 5. This is one of the best direct recording amplifiers that I have tested and adding an amp simulator into the DAW, it makes it sound as good as if you were recording with the microphone. The only thing that it can miss is a little bit of that air sound that you get from the microphone recording directly into the amplifier, but it's not that far. As for the drum set, in this case, we're not going to be using the plug-in drum set that is on the DAW, but we're going to be purchasing an actual electric drum set. The Spider 5 amplifier is going to set you back about $220 to $320. And the whole reason why I picked the 60 over the 30 is because that one already comes preloaded with the wireless system. So you can have wireless guitar if you buy the Relay 10 device. As for the drum set, the one that I recommend is the Alice's Search Mesh Head, which you can either buy the actual drum kit or you can buy the module on its own on Amazon for $120. The Alice's Search Mesh Head, you can also buy it at Guitar Center for $800 and it comes with a Simmons amplifier so that you can play and listen, like a real set. Now that we got our gear, the only important thing is just to go into our DAW and we're going to be using either the Spider 5 to be recording guitars and bass and we're going to be using the mixer to record the microphone and the Alesis. The reason why is because the Alesis only records directly as a MIDI device and not a sound. So we're going to record through the mixer to be able to achieve that sound. And here is the sample of all what we have achieved. <laughs> I know, it sounded like garbage, but considering that I'm not a drummer, I'm not a singer, I'm just a guitar player and a bass player, I was able to achieve this sound. I, I, I was really happy. And if I'm able to get a good singer and a drummer, or if I just spend enough time to learn how to do either or, I'm going to be really happy with the recordings that I can have. I know that I didn't show my EQ settings or I didn't show my VST plugins that I use for the program, but if you guys need any help or if you want to learn what I did, I can show you in another video. My point was to show that on a tight budget, you actually can accomplish this without going with the Tascam or all these fancy other devices. And 
I tried to pick products that weren't going to break your piggy bank and that you also were able to achieve a considerably plug and play feel that it will allow you at the same time to learn how to play other instruments and that down the road you can achieve more stuff. Thanks for watching.